Hello tribe, so I'm here to share with you today something on the spirituality plane because that's my favorite thing to talk about and most powerful I feel. Um, <clears throat> spirituality is woven through all the different coaching that I do, whether it's Tantra, relationships, communication. Um, I think it's necessary to have a spiritual practice, hopefully many, in this day and age because if you're not spiritually prepared for what's coming then you're gonna be stressing <laughs> anyway I have a, a super special book to share which is called Anna grandmother of Jesus this was uh, introduced to me by a friend otherwise I never would have known about it and it's channeled and it's extraordinary it's one of my favorite books so far in my life the other one being I Remember Union um, by Flo Magdalena, which is also channeled. Um, it's Mary Magdalene's story. You can get them off of Amazon. And this is Jesus' grandmother story. You know, her name's Anna. So she talks about... First of all, I just want to comment on the fact that when it's channeled, you can often tell it's the true deal uh, because you can feel the energy in the book, um, the power of what's being said, and it's so perfectly worded because obviously the being um, of Anna is, you know, extraordinary in the spirit world and has mastered communication. And so she's, when it's channeled, it's just, I'm very aware because communication skills are a big part of what I'm passionate about when I work um, with relationships and coaching people. And it's so perfectly worded so that you feel like you're right there, you're witnessing it, she has no judgment, she's just stating what's happening, and you're able to really understand in pretty good detail what's going on. Um, with all the people involved in the whole crucifixion, resurrection, ascension experience that Jesus pulled off. And it's so comforting reading a, a book like this because it totally honors the divine feminine, first of all, which, um, you know, has been lost. It's been cut out. I mean, his story is his story. So these kind of books bring back, back her story. And there's a lot that went on behind the scenes that's just not covered in the Bible. And it almost makes me angry when I read her account of all the details and things that got left out of the Bible. And I know that um, the Bible needs to be, you know, short enough to be a book because it would contain just volumes. Um, if everything was documented but it's just funny how you know growing up Christian I you're led to believe that it happened a certain way when in reality and there was a lot of missing pieces that um, kind of surprised me that she fills in and and almost sometimes it's the opposite of how it's being conveyed through the Bible or, or taught through churches so quite interesting she um, goes through all the time building up to Jesus' birth, his all the years of his initiations, which were many, um, going to Egypt and England and India and meeting all kinds of ascended masters to do his initiations to prepare him to pull off this major finale, you know, with crucifixion, resurrection, and ascension. So I highly recommend it because it's a life changer.